strict on us as yeah. they are in other games. True. And I mean, the waterfall bracket, even though it's a terrific uh, way of running, a, even though it's a terrific way of running, it's really in my opinion, it does take a long time. Yeah. Anyway, we have Jimmy Joe on now. Yeah, yeah. Jimmy Joe and she, uh, she man. So the uh, the Falcon that we saw earlier today. Yeah. Uh, against Raz's Yoshi. So this time he's going to get Jimmy Joe's Pika. Yeah. I know that Jimmy Joe is a Pika pot. Yeah. I think he started out originally as a puff and then like got Pika in the mix. Probably for these sorts of matchups, like Falcon and uh, probably like Falcon, Samus, like all the like bad matchups for Puff. Yeah, that makes sense. All right, so She-Man takes it. Yeah, that up tilt covering both above the ledge and at the ledge is really nice. Yeah, especially when like Pika gets to a certain distance. Yeah, taking a page out of Boom's book. Trying to beat that ambiguous recovery. Yeah. And Up there. Uh, yeah, DI is in just enough to not die to that. Yeah. Well, like, like a forward or a Falcon standard is interesting. Because uh, it doesn't get nearly as much like finish, but it is good if you're like right at the ledge. Yeah. And uh, Jimmy Joe does take that. So gets him off stage, just gimps him as you should as Pika. And. Uh, Game is just so ridiculous with the nair and the no. Yeah. Oh, can he get the pivot? He cannot. Just, just barely. Not able yeah. To scoop, but but uh, that that's probably gonna do it. Yeah. yeah. For a second, I thought he was gonna like get on some edge and like edge cancel off with like with speed. But yeah. That would have been that would have been sick, but unfortunately no. Yeah. With Pika on the ledge, with speed, there's so many cool things you can do. Just with standard. Him. Yeah. That's gonna do it. So. One stock left here for Jimmy Joe. Oh, and look at all these up airs. Everyone, everyone watching this knows Jimmy Joe as a commentator who's like basically just the face of the Super Bowl commentary. Yeah. Oh! Right, Maybe gets the tech. Oh, no. All right, well, Jimmy Chu recovers and is now in a solid position to just get this stock here. Get this stock, all right. Uh, he is above 100, so he is at risk of dying to like a back throw at this point. Yeah, and if he gets the ledge, there's basically no good option. So. No. Oh, that's going to do it. All right, so She Man takes the first game. Uh, yeah. 55-45 Yeah, so now going to Puff. A little bit more comfortable with this character than Pika, probably. Probably. So, just wants to stick with it. Alright, so let's see what ends up happening. He does have the combo game with Puff. Uh, gets that in air. Yeah. Oh, back air's gonna do it, yeah. Light buff, you know. Alright. Well, Falcon's still at 14, it's at risk of dying here, so we'll see what happens. Oh, gets down air. Doesn't. Yeah. And but Jimmy Joe just not looking like he knows what he's yeah, what to do right now. Like, he got the dare on him, and then he just missed the Z cancel, and it just sort of... Jimmy Joe tried to chase him right away with the forward air, oh, but that... he's not fast enough in the air. Oh, no, it just misses the back air. Yeah. Able to jump out, like, that's the thing that's great about Puff, at least for this matchup. Like, forward throw it, like, dirty can already jump out. Yeah, and She-Man is just overwhelming him right now with just all these aerials. She-Man with, like, the nice, like, adaptive combos. Here I am saying how hard it is to... Combo puff with Falcon, and you know he hits him with like the soft nair down air. All right. Oh, can he get back? I don't think he can. He just killed himself. Yeah. Edge guard of death. Unfortunate. So She-Man takes it. Uh, I want to say 